Update number four of the spiral rotor motor. Okay, it's not, this design isn't going to do what I thought. At least I can't make it do what I thought. But I have some interesting effects that might lead into other things. Now, if you've been following, all these magnets are the same polarity. And these magnets are the same polarity attracting at this moment. Okay, and what we get is this. That is interesting. Look at that. I get double opposing linear motion from under a half of a turn. Now, if I turn it fully full turns, it will loop and keep doing that okay I think I can make it smoother if this V was rounded and this V was rounded because we have a situation here where we have a hard spot to get past the repulsion but if that was a nice arc I'm thinking it would sail right over there without having to cut the side of the magnet like that. Cutting that side is hurting us. Okay, so what does this mean? Now, let's just say we reverse the magnets. One polarity, the other polarity. So these are opposite. Then keep these magnets opposite from each other. Okay, now we have a north and a south on the outside. Now, take this and wrap it with a coil and have a commutator. Now we got some kind of generator, which I've never seen before. Now, if you take two magnets and bring them down against the outside of a coil, the polarities have to be the same because you're all on a top hemisphere of the coil then you switch to the bottom the polarities must be the same but when you have this type of motion your polarities are going to have to be opposite you're going to have to have a positive and a negative or a north and a south and then as the north comes down the south comes up they cross and they induce the other sides so what's the chances of wrapping this with a coil redoing this with other polarity magnets so they're opposite two different polarities so they attract wrap this with a coil have the coil leads coming out that we could tap with a commutator and then having a motor or a reciprocator on here doing one of these have nice big strong magnets here nice thick strong magnets to induce heavy and to grab these ones it seems like there will still be lens it would seem because these will be resisting and when you're turning this you have to move those so I don't think it's gonna reduce lens drag so, is it going to go over Unity? Probably not. But it would be quite an interesting generator. Like, say you had a magnet here, right? Here. And you had a coil like this with a north and a south. And then you just flip the polarity. So this goes boom, 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 boom. While it's inducting itself. That would be a cool generator. So... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to keep poking with it, but it doesn't spin as easy as I thought going like this. I can make it spin if I bring it off real far out, but the timing, you'll never get that timing right. I don't know how they would possibly time this. But anyway, that's what I'm seeing. This is with attraction. I have tried with repulsion. And I tried one attract one repulsion. 
and it's sporadic. I could get it spinning, but not smooth like they're showing on a video. Nothing like that. So I don't know about the whole spinning thing, but I like I like what I'm seeing here. It is an awesome action, something that I haven't seen before with magnets or with a machine. So, oh yeah, brains open.